first tonight, a shoplifter is in the hospital after a security guard shot him. Not over the stolen items, but because that person attacked the guard. It happened at the CVS at Harbor East. That's where we find WMAR 2 News is Brittany Verner, who joins us live with what happened today, Brittany. Yeah, well, many people are still being turned away from entering the CVS, and it's been like that since this morning after a security guard shot a man in the face inside of here. It was like nine or so, and I was about to come here to pick up my prescription, and then I like heard something off my balcony. We looked over here, and there was just like a cops, and then we saw a guy coming out on a stretcher. On the corner of South Exeter and Fleet Street inside a CVS, Police say Friday morning, just after 9, a man was seen shoplifting in the store before being confronted by a security guard, and that's when things turned violent. It's definitely upsetting. I feel bad for all these businesses around here, too. It's like probably to take a hit. BPD says the shoplifter then pulled out a needle syringe and tried to stab that security officer with it. That's when the security officer fired his weapon, shooting that man in the face. Doesn't really sound real, you know. It's terrible that he had to shoot him, but you you really don't know what would have been on the needle. It may have just been a prick of, but you know, any diseases and things on it could have like impacted him later on in life or given him something awful to deal with afterwards for years to come. Police spent the next few hours investigating what happened, cleaning up the blood that stained the sidewalks outside of the establishment while customers were constantly turned away. That man who was shot was rushed to the hospital and at last check remains in critical condition. So there's a sign in the window that reads, sorry, we're closed. It's unclear right now when they will reopen. It's also unclear if that security guard will be facing any charges. We'll be sure to get you updates on that as soon as we learn more. For now, reporting live in Harbor East, Brittany Verner, WMAR 2 News. All right.